It's all good. Chrisette Michelle is in the building. So, you're beautiful. Thank you. So are you. Um, boyfriends? Boyfriends. Boyfriend? Yeah. I'm it's dating. like that. You're I'm G'd young, up. Like, I'm young and I'm dating. Um, but I am ready to settle down one of these days. Okay. I think that would be really cool. I'm not one of those people who like to, you know, jump from one thing to the next. I like stability. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, when Mr. Wright is on his way, um, I'm sure You I'm feel it? You feel it in your bones? <sighs> Man, you know, I gotta start paying more attention. Because I think I pass a lot of beautiful things by because I'm so busy. Okay. Um, my life is absolutely insane. I haven't seen my own pillow in months. And okay. if I have, it was for maybe a day. Okay. And I probably slept on the couch because I was too tired to walk up the steps. So it's been insane. I haven't had a lot of time. But okay. when I do, I do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what does Chrisette like to do on a date? What do you? What, what's your ideal date? You know, dates are usually boring at restaurants, you know? Hated it. I like to play. I like to mountain climb. I like to go to the beach. I like to go bowling. Mm. You know what I mean? I like to play. I like okay. to laugh. Um, lights on, lights off. Lights. <laughs> Candle lit. Right in between. Um, hard or soft? Hard or soft. I like velvet and cashmere. So soft. <laughs> I love, I love how she did that. So we got candles lit. We got cashmere and velvet. I'm feeling kind of good, folks. Um, pretty boy or thug? Ooh, <laughs> yikes. Uh, I like a man who can, can be in charge. I like a, I like a aggressive male. Yeah? Yeah. Aggressive. I'm, 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 I take charge. What, what's your sign? Sagittarius. Oh, man. Yeah. You definitely, and you're very focused. I'm horribly focused. Sometimes I wish I was less focused. Do you find that you usually like a certain sign? No. Yeah. Uh, two Scorpios and, and uh, Leos. <laughs> Why the Leos? But they're so sensitive, but, but nobody knows except me. You know what I mean? Like, they'll be sensitive, you know, around their boo. When they get in front of everybody, they put on their man, they put on their armor, and they go out to win. But at home, they're, they're very sensitive. They, yeah, they're the lions. They're the lions. But they're cowardly lions at home. I like that. Be nice to me at home. Make my tea. Set my bath. They you go out and be like, you yeah, know, nah, come on, Chris, let's go. We got to get there on town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we go, baby, you take it so long to put your shoes on. Want me to put them on for you? Nice. Frederick's of Hollywood or Victoria's Secret? It's terrible. I like both. I am a lingerie fanatic. Okay. I love pajamas. Uh, but I'm in Victoria's Secret tomorrow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Sorry. Front or back? Front or back? <sighs> we, this sexy in the city, mama. I'm sorry. No, I'm I gotta to go there. I'm, I'm sorry. Think. I'm trying to think. Front or back? I like kisses. <laughs> so I'd rather be face to face. Okay. All right. Yeah. We like that. You see where this is going, right? Tri State Chris. What do you Michelle mean? What are you building. talking about here? What are we talking about? <laughs> it's a band Monday. We're coming back. Chris Michelle is going down. It's power. All right, Power 105, New York's Hip Hop and R&B, Sexy in the City, It's Going Down, Band Monday, Chrisette Michelle is in the building. Hey. The album, November 30th, Let Freedom Reign. I'm so excited. And she's got a baldy. I got a baldy, folks. And she is different. I'm different. Strange. Strange. Strange? Like Tarje? <laughs> me not like it. <laughs> well, no, I mean, the reason why I said Strange because wasn't uh, Grace Jones Strange? You no, know, I got to see her walk last year at a fashion show. She changed my life. Uh, who is she bam, still? Bam, bam. Uh, well, she, yeah, she had a hood on. So okay. Yeah. I could do that. See? See? Bam. That's what makes it Strange. Strange is not a bad word. You gotta look it up. I know it doesn't mean really strange. It's... It's different. It's got it's got a Hebrew and, and Greek uh, uh, base. Yes. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't, I don't believe know. you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is the part of the show where the banning begins. Are you ready? Yes, it's going to be serious. You know me. I, 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 I don't take anything lightly. 
Okay. What would you like to ban? Domestic violence. I'm sick of it. Yes! I'm tired of it. It's exhausting. It's like the Ike and Tina, like it, the OJ it's like and, it's and not the, funny. It'll never be a good look. It's not cool. Don't don't hit him. Don't hit her. Put your hands in your pocket. And when somebody hits you, tell. So that's the main thing that I feel is when somebody hits you, tell. There's nothing to be ashamed of. One out of every four women in America or, or men are getting hit by their spouse. So you got 25% of the population getting, getting hit. You're not the only one. So say something. Don't be ashamed. Don't be embarrassed. There's somebody who's going to be out there to help you. Uh, but if you don't tell, you're going to be stuck in a crazy situation. And that's not cool. So ban domestic violence. I'm over it. It's whack. How did you feel about the? I, this is so old, but just the, the the Rihanna and Chris Brown situation. Well, I, it's not that I felt anything about that particular oh. situation. Okay. It was what I felt about what that situation was about. And once again, it was about domestic violence, about domestic abuse. I honestly don't really know exactly what happened between the two of them, so I can't really speak on their situation. But I know that there are 300 million people in America, and 25% of those people are being hit, not just those two beautiful people who we saw in the news all that time. Everybody else's stuff is not getting publicized. That's the problem. So publicize it yourself. Make it your own media takeout. Make it your own case. Call the police. Call a friend. Say, babe, girl, homegirl, homeboy, what's up? Uh, So-and-so hit me yesterday. And they're going to help you through it. They're going to walk you through it. There's more love than hate. You'll find a loving person, a pastor, a mentor, somebody to talk to about it. But talk. Open up your mouth. Don't be afraid. There's protective services, shelters. You live in America. <laughs> somebody will save you. <laughs> um, have you ever been a victim of domestic violence? I, I, I was in a situation that was a little touchy. I was really, really young. Okay. Really young. Okay. So it was half um, frisky, half, oh, he hit you. He hit you. I'm going to go find him type of thing. Okay. But I was still living at home with mom and dad. Okay. You know what I mean? I was able to escape. Okay. Um, and mommy and daddy sent me away to my uh, pastor aunt who kind of rescued me. But I definitely know how it feels to be in that situation um, as a young kid. And I know young kids go through it, too. Mm -hmm. If he's hitting you, sis, and you're still in high school, you're still in college, get out of it. Brother, if she's doing that, get out of it. It's not cute. It's not funny. And he meant it. She meant it. She meant to hit you. Get out. Straight up. Aye, aye, aye. Exactly. And you know what's crazy is that the, the, the thing is starting to flip. Now women are starting to hit men. That's why I said if he or she. Because I know a few chicks that hit their men, like, they're like, because they know he won't. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. Sometimes I get upset. I throw pillows. I mean, it gets violent, but it's just a pillow, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> if it comes to the fist, the hand, like, pillow fighting, I mean, it's excusable. Slapping people? Stabbing people? It's not funny. It's not Killing funny. people? Killing people? Don't kill people! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. November 30th. Now, one last thing, because because now you're you're starting to talk. I'm upset. Is there anything you want to ban in the industry? You know what? In the industry, the craziest thing is that people are afraid for their jobs. <sighs> so nobody wants to talk to anybody else. <sighs> ban office windows. Mm. I need I need open doors in the industry. I need I need for the, this person in in the in the building to be able to talk to that person in the building without them feeling like they stealing the idea. Like we all gotta work together, cause it filters all the way down. You know you got publicists standing next to their artists so that artists can't talk to each other. Why can't artists have relationships? People ban people people try to put walls up all the time in the industry. So I wanna ban walls in the industry. I'm so sick of of the walls that are in the industry. It's exhausting. Wow. Chrisette has shaved her head. <laughs> and she has spoken. And I love it. Chrisette has shaved her head. You're talking about nighttime voice. Chrisette Michelle has shaved her head. Yes. And a sexy. It. And a city. Well, congratulations on everything. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming up. Of course. Um, I'm excited to hear the album. Yeah, I can't wait for you to hear it. And if there's anything you need, you can always come up here, vent, and let everybody know how you're really <laughs> feeling, because we keep it a hundred on sure this show. Y'all certainly do. And do you have a Twitter? Is there any website? Is there anything yeah. coming up that you want to let people know? 
Take well, advantage. Go to, my, go to my new website. It's called thisischrisettemichelle.com. Go to defjam.com and, and, and scroll and find me. Um, and then hit me up on Twitter. I am Chrisette M. C-H-R-I-S-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, the letter M. That is me. And I hit you back on Twitter. So go on and say what's up. I, I love it. And the album will be in stores November 30th. Let Freedom Ring. Thank you. Sexy and the CDG's been